Hi, you guys. How are you? Good. Yes, doing well. Pretty good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So lovely to see you all again. Oh, yes. I know. So good to see you. Glad we can it was what? Do this again. Three so, years ago? Yeah. yeah three three years ago. Yeah. Yes. It's so great to have this film back. It's the film of the year. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> and I want to ask you, after having a weird couple of years with the pandemic, mm -hmm. what do you think you would you all have learnt in, from your you know, industry where it had to go a bit quiet for a while? Right. That's a great question. Um, I think we probably all learned different things. For me, the one thing that I learned is that taking a break is as important as taking a good job. You know, ever since I got cast as Spider-Man, I've kind of been non-stop working, 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 which is a huge, you know, luxury. But once I take, I, I stopped and was forced to stop mm. by the government. I was, you know, we we're all <laughs> locked inside. I um, I realised how tired I was and how much mm. I really needed that break. Mm. So that's probably something that I've learned. Yeah, I've I've learned that you know, uh, I guess on the business side of things, I feel like there's things obviously that are more important mm. than than our job, and yeah. that you know things like the pandemic sort of put things in perspective. You know, I feel like we're all very much lucky and fortunate to be working at, in a time during the pandemic, and so I guess it's just really understanding that we're very fortunate to be able to do this but also we, we do for the fans because we know without them we wouldn't be here so yeah, yeah. i think to piggyback back off of that i'd say yeah i was just my main word that year was just like gratitude you know yeah. what i mean um i love what i do so much and when you feel like it's kind of like you don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing but yeah. um not not having that kind of forces you to figure out other parts of yourself mm -hmm. and that you like when you work so much you're like oh, i don't even know who i am yeah. what am i without this thing that i'm so used to being right. um so that was kind of interesting trying to figure out other parts of myself and what yeah. other things make me happy but then it also reinforced how much i love my job um, and how grateful I am for my job. So then when I got to go back to Spider-Man, I was like, I'm going to set every day. Yes. I don't care if I'm not working, I wanna learn as much as I can from John. I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna experience it all. And I'm very glad that I did that. Yeah, yeah. me too. In your careers, would you say that, uh, well, most of us practice gratitude and being positive. Would you say you have certain goals that y years ago you wanted to achieve and now you finally got them and what were they? Oh. I think... This is nice having yeah. new questions. Yeah, it is really had, refreshing, like, honestly. The same yeah. questions all day, so this is nice. That's really good. Um, I think, you know, with our jobs, uh, for me anyway, like, your goals are forever changing because mm. the industry is always changing and every job you have is different. Um, I think as far as goals for me, you know, I wanted to create a trilogy with Spider-Man that will be remembered forever mm. and something that, you know, will inspire young kids to be superheroes in their everyday life. And I hope that these films have done that. Um, and then look going forward, I would like to spend the next five years of my life focusing on uh, the future of my life rather than the future of my career, mm. you know, and maybe putting certain things uh, ahead of a job or work and stuff like that is the next chapter, I think. Mm. How about for you, Guy? Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think mainly for me, I, I feel at the, at the beginning of my career, I found that I've wanted to just really get, get my foot through the door mm -hmm. and really have the time and space to actually be an actor and, and grow, at, grow as an actor. But uh, like Thomas said, I feel like, you know, things change over time and so do your goals. And now that I've achieved certain things, I feel like there's other things that I set my mind to that absolutely uh, are more than just wanting to be an actor or being in the industry and things of that nature. So um, yeah, ever-changing life, mm -hmm. uh, ever-changing goals. And I think that's important because you don't want to stay stagnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's yeah, where you I'm You said at. Tom has said, but I thought yeah. for a second he said Thomas said. I was like, you've never called him Thomas. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, as Thomas said. Uh, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, um, I don't know. I guess it's been in it's interesting because I think as you grow older, like your perspective on things has changed. And I've never really had a, a, like a plan per se, but maybe things that I thought I wanted as I grow and as I come into my, you know, young adulthood mm -hmm. and become um, 
more understanding of the things that I want out of life, mm. I think those things shift and change. It's like some things that I think like, oh, I really, really wanted this thing, mm. or I really, really, it just are complete, aren't even like important to me anymore. Like yeah. I can't right. even believe mm. that that's what I was thinking about or was focused yeah. on. I think mm. th my number one focus is always just to do work that I'm proud of and, and to just be happy, live, yeah. live a, as happy yeah. a life as I can, you know? It's interesting how like things that you used to worry about a few years ago, you look back on it and you're like, why did I give that a second <laughs> yeah. thought? And it's the same thing with things that you want. You look back and you're like, I got it, and I realized I put so much time into mm. getting it, and it didn't mean nearly as much to me yeah. as like... But I'm saying, even if you didn't get it, it's like, yeah. why did I even want that in the yeah. first place? Why was I so, you know? Totally, it's yeah. Like, so, Tom, I've seen that you're going to play Fred Astaire. Yes, I am, which yeah. Which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. To um, Zendaya and Jacob, if you were uh, playing someone's bio, who would you pick? Ooh. I don't know who I'd be. I feel like I don't really look like anyone. Um, <laughs> we'll take that out of it. Who would you like to play? If you had to embody someone, who would it be? That is really hard. I feel like I, in a way, I feel like I don't really look up to anyone in that sense. Oh, like, really? I, I think that like people inspire me, but I feel like there isn't anyone's particular story that I feel like I could like do better than their actual life. Like, if that makes sense. Mm. Um, yeah, that's very honorable of you. Yeah, but I, I mean... I'll be like, I want to be... Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough for me, for sure. I, I really love actors who can mm -hmm. obviously bring this, bring t to life people's stories, for sure. And I just, I just think for me, like, there isn't anyone in particular. That I, I would be honored for anyone to ask me to do it, for sure. Anyone, yeah. anyone could, I could be anyone, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, well, I actually have been <laughs> worked on Ronnie Spector for a long time. Ronnie Spector is a is an artist, um, she's a music artist and has a really uh, incredible life story. And she is um, older now, but she actually picked me. It was one of those things where she yeah. she saw me and so in a cool. magazine mm -hmm. or something and she was like, I want her to play me. And so I felt very honored because yeah. she's, um, she's a rock and roll hall of fame legend yeah. so right. Right. i felt very very lucky and i was like yeah i'll do whatever you want she's got a beautiful story so i hope to you know eventually when the time is right bring that to life it would be amazing yeah so tom do you think your background with dance um is gonna just help you you know kill this role i yeah. hope so yeah. it's been a long time since i've done any sort of tap dancing i know that if i'm waiting for a train or a bus i will start doing a little time step uh, you know, one of the best skills I've learned throughout my career is dancing. It's been mm. so instrumental to the success of these Spider-Man movies. Uh, so to sort of go back to my roots as such and learn, learn again how to tap dance will be very, very exciting. And yeah. one of the best things about our jobs is when you're given a role that requires you to learn a new skill, uh, it's excellent because, you know, sometimes it's hard to do things off your own bat, mm. but when you're doing it for a job, whether it's learn the guitar or learn ballet or tap dance or gymnastics, you know, you're almost forced to focus on it a little bit more. Yeah. So all of you guys travel so much <laughs> with your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you miss the most about home? My dog. Yeah, mm. your little dog. I miss noon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every day when I get into bed, I'm like, <sighs> I miss, miss my son. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the golf course, yeah. if I'm honest. <laughs> I love Your my mom's family. Like <laughs> I love them all so much, but Great. I miss I miss playing golf with my mates. I have a really, yeah. really good group of mates and we all love hanging out with each other and playing golf for me is is one of the only times that I can really just be a normal yeah. bloke on the golf course, uh, which is great. Yeah, yeah I, I think I just really miss uh, having my own things. I feel like, yeah. you know, traveling yeah. and working, I feel like I I live in so many different places that I don't actually own, and it makes me feel like I'm not really there. In yeah, a way. I get that. Yeah. So I think really I miss like my own apartment, my own bed, and like my own friends, and you know, uh, just like being in a very familiar place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. I think that's valid. I miss that too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Honestly, my thank you, pleasure. Thank so you. good to see you. And it was it's such a wonderful interview. I'm so seriously, glad thank you. That. So that's refreshing. how we got, like, finish our day. Perfect way to so finish awesome. the day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. We'll make sure you get to see it.